Yeah, Power managed to corner two friendly dragons from the CBC show Dragon's Den at the 2015 Cantec Investment Conference held in Toronto. Among the things Michael Weckerly tells us is what Canadian tech plays will be the next big thing to change the world. Well, you know, I'm sitting here with Diane Buckner from Dragon's Den and we've talked about this a lot. And it's really the innovation that's coming out of Canada. It's really what has started at the university level with education, computer engineering. There's more computer engineers that come out of the tri-region of Kitchener, Waterloo and Laurier, uh, Guelph, etc. You know, and I think that if you combine that with Montreal, Ottawa, the universities that are throughout Canada, BC, etc., you find there's companies like Hoodsuite, Desire to Learn, Vidyard, and my, one of my favorites, Bill Direct. These are companies that are going to come out and change the world. Quick Play, which is a streaming video. It's about second screen TV. It's about wireless SaaS models, service as a software. It's about creating a revenue source based upon non-traditional advertising. You know, it's going to be media, social media, and what we believe is going to be the next era is the cloud. So what is your outlook for the tech sector in 2015? Uh, better than 2014, and Diane Bakker is the big factor. <laughs> yeah, right. Dragon's Den might help. But isn't Dragon's <laughs> Den a big part uh, of where we're going with this? You know, next gen den is really one of the key things. So the likes of Diane and Tracy and Amy and all the crew at Dragon's Den have created a show, Next Gen Den, which is an online show for uh, entrepreneurs under the age of 40 up to a maximum of $100,000. You can now audition, I think it was in February, I believe. But what a great thing to do to take that ground floor innovation and get, make it Main Street the ability to invest directly. There might be second screen ability to actually co-fund. And with now what we hear about crowdfunding coming to Canada, we're very excited at the Dragon's Den because maybe you could have a situation where the audience can part participate with what, what the entrepreneurs do. That is the key. What's the biggest red flag investors should look for when putting money into a tech stock? Me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> look at all. No. There's no red flags in technology. It's all about a cycle. There's a 10-year cycle with a second year into a 10-year cycle. You know, I said three years ago on BNN that the market will correct the cyclicals as a function of supply and demand. Oil will be $50, but it might go lower because that's where the marginal cost of Canadian oil stands are at. Now, I believe right now that, you know, we're here, but three years ago, people thought I had three heads. I believe that technology is based upon strength, entrepreneurship. You have to be excellent to be successful, and we have successful, excellent companies that will drive investment. Why is Google in Waterloo? Why is all the U.S. corporations coming here to Canada and say, I can come here, it's a third of the cost. We have a population that tends to their size, and we have Diane Buckner. What do you think will be the next big thing in technology, and how can investors profit? Well, difference capital is probably a good start, but uh, we've had a tough, tough time. We went from $3 to a dollar. So we're a merchant bank that takes a wide group of stocks that are involved in different areas. But if I had to focus on areas of specific, it's about logistics, uh, technology that relates to logistics, taking anything you do, make it simpler, easier, faster. It's the Intel way. So take, you know, historically what you do shopping, now you have online shopping. Take what you did before in delivery of systems. You know, take everything that you've done and look where we are today. So it's going to be commerce, an e-wallet, the cloud, wireless, and something that can produce a service that is repeatable, that is a subscription model like your cell phone or anything of that nature. And we're getting away from all the historical uh, medium. So I still read the newspaper. Children in the age of 30 do not do that. I still have a landline to find my cell phone, but no one else has one. Cable, I love Jimmy and all the guys at Rogers, but at the same time, you know, Sean and Rogers, they actually understand that it's about content. They're creating their own content, which is where it's going with that. We need, an, we need an app that helps people dress like Michael Weckerly, don't you think? Well, don't, don't look too closely. Actually, I crocheted this last night. <laughs> Keep up to date with all of your favorite small caps. Subscribe to our free newsletter and get daily investment ideas, breakout stocks, momentum gainers, expert and analyst stock picks, and more. Smallcappower.com, investing ideas and research.